This is a walkthrough of problem two on exam one of module eight in the book Problem Solving Guide for Electromagnetism and Optics. Problem two states, a long wire carrying a current of 200 milliamps has a bend in it as shown. The bend is a perfect circular arc that subtends an angle theta. We can see it right here in the diagram, has a radius of curvature of five centimeters. The magnetic field at the center of the arc is 1.08 microtesla directly out of the page. Part A asks which way is the direction of the electric current I in the wire. If we use the right hand rule, curl our fingers around the wire in order for our fingers to be coming out of the page at the center of the arc, the current must be going this way, up and to the right and let's put the arrows in there we go that's the way the current's flowing stick our thumb along the arrows curl our fingers out around the wire and they're pointing out right here at the center of the arc now we can tackle part b we can think about this wire in three pieces we have a long straight piece here and we have an arc right here and then we have another long straight piece right here. Horizontal wire coming in from the left, the arc, and then the straight section going up and to the right. The angle between the, this perpendicular distance and the wire is 90 degrees right here and right here. So these two wires are both half infinite. They have long and the end at the perpendic perpendicular distance. So the magnetic field from the two wires, these two half infinite wires, that's what this one is, those are the cosines of the two angles. This is the horizontal wire here, and this is from the horizontal wire going up. And the perpendicular distance A is the same as the radius of the arc five centimeters. So there's two of them and we calculate that the field contribution from the two half infinite wires is 0.8 microtesla. The problem states the field is 1.08 microtesla so we know that the arc must be contributing 0.28 microtesla to get the total field of 1.08 microtesla. The magnitude of the magnetic field at the center of an arc, mu naught i over 4 pi r times the angle the arc subtends, and we know what the value is, it's 0.28 microtesla. So now we can calculate how big the angle has to be for an arc of 5 centimeters to produce a magnetic field of 0.28 microtesla at the center. Plug in, our, in all the numbers, there's the radius of the arc, we can solve for theta, and we get 0.7. But this is in radians, the question says what is the angle theta in units of degrees? 0.7 radians, and 360 degrees divided by 2 pi, is the conversion factor, this conversion factor is equal to 1, the top is the same as the bottom, that fraction is equal to 1. When you multiply something by 1, the value doesn't change, and we get 40.1 degrees for the angle of the arc, and that is problem 2.